BioDME, made from forest biomass, could be the most promising renewable fuel alternative for the future. 50% of all heavy-duty truck transports in Sweden can, in the not-too-distant future, be run on BioDME. Compared to diesel, BioDME will reduce CO2 emissions by 95%. Ground has already been broken for the world's first plant for the production of BioDME. This happened in Piteå in the north of Sweden on September the 18th, 2009, in the presence of His Majesty King Carl Gustaf. The pilot plant will begin production in July 2010, producing BioDME from black liquor, a byproduct of the pulp and paper industry. One of the most important and promising renewable fuels for the future is DME, dimethyl ether. It has a very low climate impact, but maybe even more important, it is very energy efficient. Volvo Trucks has developed the world's first truck engine that can use bio-DME as fuel. 14 Volvo trucks will now be tested in a large-scale field test financially supported by both the EU and the Swedish Energy Agency. Technology provider Chemrec is particularly excited about the process for creating DME. It's primarily a demonstration of a whole uh, production and distribution route from wood to wheel, starting with gathering the wood, going through the pulp mill, going through the gasification and synthesis, then into the distribution with Prem and into the trucks built by Volvo. And Prem is going to make sure everyone can get access to the fuel. The main role Prem has is to be responsible for distribution of the products. We will build uh, a number of filling stations for DME in conjunction with that transportation. So we make sure that the product will be delivered from uh, the production site out to our stations. We need to cooperate with the energy suppliers and especially with our customers. Since we can't solve this all by ourselves, we need to work together.